Hey everybody, today on Angling and Arrows, myself and Devlin are going to do a little product review. It's the first time we've done one, but I wanted to talk about Velvet Antler Technologies uh, and Velvalac. It's a product for preserving velvet and antlered animals. So if you look at what you see in the video. And don't forget to like, subscribe and follow our channel on Instagram. That's right. Don't forget to like, subscribe and follow our channel on Instagram. Instagram, YouTube and Twitter. So a couple of years ago I decided I wanted to try and harvest and preserve a velvet woodland caribou. It's just something that I've wanted to do and when I decided to do that I started looking into how to preserve the velvet and your options were to use some type of a uh, embalming fluid or formaldehyde. That's quite expensive and I wasn't able to obtain any of the formaldehyde but I came across this product called Velvalac, Velvet Antler Preservatives and I decided to order it and give it a shot. And this is video is going to be a short review on how it worked out for, for us here on Angling and Arrows. So the first thing I'm going to talk about in the product is the amount that you have to order. There's a little bit of confusion on, or I found it a little bit confusing at least, on their website versus the instructions on the bottle once I received it. Their website now shows an instructional video saying a bottle, 12 ounce bottle will do 180 inches of antlers. At the time, I'm almost sure it said it did 170 inches. Actually, it does because that's what it says here on the bottle. So, I ordered the recommended amount based on their website. It should do a little over 300 inches, which is what I anticipated. But when I received the bottle, it said to do a caribou or a moose or elk, you should use 48 ounces or four bottles. So, I ended up not having quite enough, which I'll talk about in the video. But, if you follow the directions on the bottle, it says right here to use four, four bottles to do a, that type of an animal, but it still refers to 12 ounces as doing 170 or 180 inches of antlers. So that was a little bit confusing. The second thing was in their instructional video at the time, and also right here on this bottle, it says not to use the mist setting. The bottle comes with a mist setting. It says to adjust it to a fine spray so that you penetrate the velvet and you get it into the membrane on the back. Well, this bottle actually doesn't have a jet spray setting. So all I did was I just set this spray bottle to a mist setting and I held it as close as I could to the antlers. Now these antlers right here, Devlin is running the camera for me so he's going to focus in on the antlers just a little bit. These antlers here don't have velvet on them. I didn't want to reapply any liquid to my velvet antlers and risk reintroduce, reintroducing moisture to them. So these here are just here for demonstration purposes. I lay the skull perpendicular to the ground as it says in the video and as soon as you can after harvesting they recommend within 24 to 72 hours uh, within 24 hours actually so they recommend within 24 hours you apply this the sooner the better in a warm environment you start at the tips you spray the velvet lock here on the tips soaking it as much as you can until the product penetrates all the parts you have to hold it extremely close to the antlers and you apply it on all portions of the antler starting at the tips and working your way down the product should drip off of your velvet hair so that you know it's penetrated pretty straightforward. That's all it was. I did all the antlers. I used uh, about a bottle and a half. I saved a little bit for touch-ups and I left it. This is uh, 48 hours after I applied the Velvalac. Most of the tips are pretty firm. The big parts, all the velvet is dried onto the antlers. I'm pretty impressed with it. There are, however, a couple of spots. If you look up here, you can see the velvet is still rolling on the antlers. I don't know how that's going to work if it dries right here. This one especially, the velvet still rolls. But on the majority of it, the Velvalac, the velvet has gotten really firm. Right here, a piece that I scraped off bringing it out is dry just like leather. All oh, this is really firm. There's no movement at all on the antlers. So I'm curious what's going to happen with the parts that aren't dried. But so far, if you follow directions with the Velvet Lock Velvet Antler Cure, it seems to work. The only problem is I ran out. I didn't order enough. So to do the touch-ups for the spots that are a little non-cured, I'm probably going to be in trouble with those, but we'll see. 
So this is my finished product, my uh, woodland caribou, which by the way, uh, Newfoundland and Labrador is the only spot where you can actually hunt these in the world. So it's quite a desired trophy animal. And to harvest one in velvet is quite the, uh, quite the accomplishment for me. I did this with archery. So my rough measurement of Pope and Young for this, very, uh, it's not even uh, tentative yet due to COVID. I haven't actually had it measured by an official scorer, but I'm a little familiar with the measurements. So this one here, I scored at about 230 before deductions, a little higher probably, and I'm hoping that after deductions, officially it'll go uh, 220 and qualify for Pope and Young. That's my hope. We'll see how that works out. Regardless, I got a trophy that I'm quite happy with. I, I applied the velvet lock as soon as I harvested it in the woods camp, and a year later, this is the finished product. The velvet lock applied to it within the 24 hour period. As you can see here, Devlin's zooming in now, and you can see the uh, velvet is extremely durable and it's uh, stayed attached to the antlers. I've had no issues with it coming off at all. I used two 12 ounce bottles, 24 ounces, to do what I'm estimating to be about 235 inches of antlers. Uh, my issue was, if Devil wants to zoom in down here on the... I, on I can't the, zoom in any farther than this. Okay, then I turn it down so you can see. Um, I, can't, I can barely see it. So I, when I applied this at the time, I used the, I had the, what the re website recommended to do 340 inches of antlers. And it turns out it wasn't quite enough for me. Uh, I had a little issue right here. Devlin wants to zoom in here for me just a little bit on the uh, bottom of the shovel. This is where I ran out of product. So this is uh, a piece that I cured with salt and air dried and I reapplied it. It was just a small section. If I had had three bottles or certainly four bottles that it recommends for that type of an animal on here I would have had plenty of product to do the initial application as well as some touch-ups after for places that didn't adhere to the antlers because what you'll find is if you miss a spot you'll know right away within 24 or 30 hours whether or not it's going to stick you can see it in that process of drying you give it a touch-up which I did with a little tiny bit I had left and I had no issues so I'm quite happy with the product I have to say for a spray on walk away product this is held up now for a little over a year but 14 months I've got no issues with it at all I highly recommend this if you want to do a velvet antler mount and you're like myself I'm going to try and save a few bucks and not bring it to a taxidermist I have nothing but good to say about this once I got over the initial confusion of some of the amounts that were needed as well as the application Again, I used a mist setting, and that's what they show on their video now online, unlike it did a year or so ago. But I had no issues with it. I sprayed it on, hold the bottle close to it, and this is my finished product. Go. If you want to try to be so low, really close, try a little bit lock. That's right. We're, we're quite happy with it, and make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit your notification buttons uh, above there on the homepage for some more reviews and some outdoor videos. Brought to you by myself and Devlin on Angling and Arrows. Right Devlin? Yes. Thanks for watching.